Hey there, real quick, before we begin, you're about to watch a live stream, which means you're really kind of behind the scenes here because these lessons are usually watched in the archives, but you're here for the live taping of them. So if we mess up really bad, we're probably gonna chop that out, but you're gonna get to see all of our bloopers and mistakes. We'll also chop this off so no one is gonna see this part of the lesson but you. And because you're behind the scenes, you're probably gonna ignore my instructions when I say like, pause the video and go practice or whatever. You can if you want. It's just that you, everyone in the chat room then will be in different places in the video. That's fine. When you wanna join us live again, go down to the bottom of the video, click on the live button, and that should take you straight to where we actually are now. So now here comes a part for everybody else. I'm really glad you're with us. The archives are fine, but my favorite is talking to you live. So see you in the chat room. <clears throat> Welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and as you can tell from the countdown clock here, the lesson is about to begin. If this is your first time playing piano, welcome. I'm very excited for you. You're going to do great. Hopefully you already received from us the welcome packet in the mail, and maybe you even got started on the Absolute Beginners video pack to teach you the names of the notes and things like that. But if not, that's fine, you'll do great. I'll show you how to play all the notes. And if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause the video or rewind it and go over the more difficult parts. You can always pause the video or rewind it and go over the more difficult parts. And even if you only learn a little bit of this song and you don't learn the whole thing, you'll still learn enough to help you build skills so you can learn other songs faster in the future. So jump in, give it a try. You're bound to end up at least a little bit better than you even are right now. Throughout the lesson, I may refer to Kloppel Academy, and you can check out that link on the website if you want. Basically, it's a program that takes you all the way from like learning the names of the notes, the very beginning, through 12 levels of classical and jazz music, through all the skills that you would need to become a professional pianist. So you would learn all the same stuff that you would learn if you're taking regular traditional piano lessons, probably plus a little bit more, but it takes about five to 10 years to complete. So you can just try out the first level, see if it's the kind of thing that you like, or if you just care about today's lesson and learning this song, then just ignore all those references and focus on today's lesson. If you're watching this at LearnPianoLive.com, there should be a PDF and an MP3 button right next to this video. The MP3 is a play-along track that you can use to practice more after the lesson, but a lot of students like to print out the PDF right now so they have it during the lesson. Careful, it could be up to like 30 pages, so just find the couple pages that you want and print those out. If you decide not to, that's fine. I'll show you all of the notes on screen as we go through it. And we will be going through five different levels of this song that all use the same play-along track. So, even if you've never played piano before, you'll still be able to do level one. And then as we go through level two, three, four, and five, then when we use that same play along track, you just keep playing your same version. If you're watching this lesson in the archives and you have a question huh? during the lesson, then feel free to click on that survey button. And at the end of the survey, there's a place for you to ask your question and I will do my best to get back to you with the answer to that question. But if you're with us live as we're recording this today, then feel free to click on that chat button and you can talk with all the other students who are logged in during the live lesson. And if you have a question about the lesson, then you can just go ahead and type that into the box that says, ask Jamin a question and we will do our best to answer that question live in the lesson. All right, I think that's the end of the boring stuff. I'm ready to learn a song. Stay tuned at the end of the lesson and I'll show you how to win more points and earn more prizes next week. But for right now, let's get this party started. Welcome back to KidsLearnPanelive.com. My name is Jamin, and this is the incomparable Kendra. Guess what? I am finally getting back into TikTok videos. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and I downloaded the app, and I uh -huh. was quickly addicted, so uh -huh. I kind of stayed off it for a while. Yeah, that but was... uh, now I'm like actually like making them, okay. which is fun. Well, yeah. I, I might go check yours out, but I'm uh, yeah. Hmm? yeah. Yeah. All thanks. Right. <laughs> cool. It's fun. So, alrighty. I'll take your word for it. 
Well, this song is fun. Uh, this one at full speed, eventually, when you practice it up, is going to sound something like this. recognize this from uh, the uh, Trolls uh, movie, the first one, but I think they reused it in the second one as well. Um, so it's the one like at the at night when like she breaks out her ukulele and stuff. And um, anyway, so we're gonna get into this thing. Um, in order to start, we're gonna need to find an A. So in, to find an A, you're just gonna take any group of three black notes, like those ones right there, or like those ones right there. Just don't pick a group of two, and you'll be fine. And then you're gonna pick any group of three and take the middle note and drag it slightly up or slightly to the right. You land on an A every single time, no matter what group of three you pick. So I pick a, this group of three black notes right here. Take the middle note and drag it slightly up. I'll land on an A every single time. So I'm going to use this one for right now and uh, play two of those in a row while I say hello. Cool. You try. Ready? Go. Yeah, cool. So then we're going to play two of those and then we're going to jump over the next note. So we're not going to play the ne note next to it. But we're going to jump up to that one. I'm going to play two of those as well. So you'd play hello and then two of these while we say the words darkness. And then we're going to do that same exact move. From there, we're going to skip up, not play the next note over, but the next note after that. Two of those, and we would say, my old. So we start off with, hello, darkness, my old. Now, this is a little bit tricky with the track, because the track usually is going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, and then we start. But this time, we got to play some notes before the full band comes in. So it's going to go one, two, three one and then we're in hello darkness my old and it's pretty quick it'll, with the track it'll sound like this one two one hello darkness my old and then the uh full band comes in on the word friend right here and so let's go ahead and find friends so we can practice that up at the beginning uh after we play those two e's that we ended with my old we're gonna go one note to the left and we'll land on a D, and that's the note for friend. So, hello, darkness, my old friend. And if you time it correctly, the whole band will come in with you right here on the word friend. So, let's try that together. If you're in the archives, then press pause right now. Practice up this first line of, of the song till you think you have it down. When you come back, you can play along with us. If you're live with us, just play all the notes that you can, and uh, don't worry about the ones that you miss. Here we go, starting on this A. One, and a two. And a one, hello darkness, my old friend. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, if you were trying to play this, but you messed up, and instead of starting on an A, you started one note too low, it would sound like this. And that would be totally wrong for the first line, but it'd be totally perfect for the second line. So this first note is an option right here. You don't have to play that G if you don't want to. If you decide not to, then it's the exact same thing you already played, but everything is scooted over one note. So you just move your hand over and play that exact thing. So uh, if we can play that twice in a row, and then we have those two lines that are almost the same thing twice in a row, then we're already like almost halfway through our song. Um, in fact, <clears throat> should I tell you about the next part right now? Yeah, I should. Okay, because Klopp is going to jump in here pretty soon, and he's going to want me to go faster. So um, if we play the exact same thing that we started with, those, that move right there, but starting on a C instead, so starting on the second note that we have, then that is like the third and the fourth line. So C, C, E, E, G, G. That's all of that chunk right there. And also all of that chunk right there. So that is cause of vision softly. And again, this first note is kind of an option. You don't have to play that one right there. And then left it sees while I was is the exact same thing. So just by using this first pattern that we started out with, with two of them, 
on each one and skipping around, uh, we are almost up through the fourth line. Let me play that for you first without the track, and then we'll try it together with the track. So it would go, hello, darkness, my old friend. Scoot everything over. Like to talk with you again. And then we're going to start on that note right there and do the same type of pattern, because of vision softly. And then eventually I'm going to teach you creeping. And then again, left it sees while I was, and we do the same thing, sleeping. And then we're almost done with the song. We only have like two and a half lines left after that. And the top part is super simple. So let's try this thing with the track. If you are in the archives, press pause right now. Practice up this section of, of the song so you can play it along with us. And if you're live with us, just hit all the notes that you can. And uh, if you miss a bunch, don't worry about it. Here we go. And a two. And a one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, now scooch it all over and do the exact same thing. I'd like to talk with you again. Then start on that note and play the same type of pattern. Cause of vision softly. And then we scoot over and come back. And then do the exact same thing again. Scoot over and come right back. Then we're gonna need this note right here. So the highest note of that entire line right there was an A when we scooted over and the lowest note was a C. So we played left it sees while I was and then we scooted over. These two notes right here are gonna be really important, the lowest note and the highest note. So we're gonna play two of the lowest note, that's the two C's and the, then vision is gonna be the two A's and the vision. And this is definitely the hardest part of the whole song. Uh, not only because you've got a big jump there, but also it happens really soon after the last one. So it's gonna go like, left it sees while I was sleeping and the vision. So that'll take some practice right there, going from sleeping. Uh, had a feeling. Okay, so we're gonna have to go through this part. Uh, let me show you the notes for it and then this will be our last time through. Um, vision, if we can play that one and just scoot over, that was plant. That's all three of those in a row. A, B, C, and then come straight back down. Ed in my brain. So we're gonna go from the A that we landed on. We're gonna take one step over, one step over, play it again, and come back down, and come back down, and come back down. And if you are one of the many people who is feeling like, I think I got this, and when I started this line, you were like, Oh no, you're going way too fast. I need to practice the part before that. That's fine. That's perfect. Come back to this video and just rewatch this this section as much as you need. Um, so if it's not making sense anymore, just work on the, the part back at the beginning that made sense, but your hands can't quite do yet. Right here, we're gonna play brain. That's the G. We're gonna scooch over and come right back, just like we've, we've done before. We've, did a, we've done a lot of the uh, G-A-G things. G-A-G, G-A-G. That happens a whole lot. So still re, and then we're on our last line. Let me show you these last notes here. We're gonna skip down to an E, all the way down to the C's that we played a bunch of times. Three of those, all the way up to G, and then this last part right here. I think this is the hardest section of the whole song. Going from the G down to B, up one note to C, and then down to A. So let's try all of those all together, all of the notes. This does not, you don't have to play all the notes uh, correctly right now. This is probably for me to play along with future you after you've watched this video a few times and um, also practice up a whole bunch of times. Uh, but for right now, get all the notes that you can. Don't worry about the notes that you missed. This is our last time on level one. We'll practice it more on level two, three, and four, and five. Okay, here we go, starting on this A. One, and a two, and a one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Then down to the G's. And then start right there on those C's. Because a vision softly creep. Bing. And then again, same thing. Left it seeds while I was sleep. Now jump straight to the C and up to the A. Then we're gonna walk it up and then walk it down. We're gonna step off to the side and come back, and down to E, then a bunch of C's, and then the hardest part, getting down to that B, 
All right, so that is all of the notes. You've got lots of time to practice, but right, for right now, Kendra, tell us about our weekly activity. This week is the base clef spelling, and if you write the names of the notes, they all spell words. Find the words and tag Learn Piano Live when you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram for 150 bonus points for my mascot penguin, Kloppel. Yeah, and make sure that when you finish that thing, you take a picture of it and send it to us like you've been doing with the art contest. So these are the winners from last month's art contest. Check it out. Well, that was some amazing art, and I have no idea why there is no sound on that video, but we'll make sure that we get that in for the next time. But for right now, let's do some mailbag. There we go. If you'd like to win an extra 750 points by being the mailbag winner, just fill out the survey at the end of the lesson, or send us a message anytime during the week using the contact button at the top of the page. And this week is from Lane and Lauren. It says, Dear Jamin, do I need to be good at music theory to be good at piano? Um, no, definitely not. In fact, there are a lot of really, really, really great players, like even better than me, that know almost no theory at all. Um, in fact, I was I was on a tour once uh, with this one band, and I was I was the saxophone player, so I was not playing piano. But there was this guy, and he was playing piano. I he was absolutely incredible. So I asked him what he was doing, and he tried to explain it to me, and he got all of it wrong. Like he described the notes incorrectly and everything. He's like, "Well, you start out on E flat," and I'm like, um, "That's not an E flat." Um, so no, absolutely, you can be a really great piano player and not know music theory. But for me, learning piano is way, way, way easier if I learn some theory along the way because it helps me take all the stuff that I'm learning and then like apply it to all my other songs instead of every song just being like its own thing that none of the skills apply to anything else. So I think it helps a whole lot, but no, you don't have to learn music theory to be good at playing the piano. All right, well, it's time for a little bit of secret information. Secret information. And this week, in our top secret, secret information folder, with a little bit of background music to make it extra special spooky. There we go. Okay, so this song was originally sung by a group, check this out, named Simon, that's normal, and Garfunkel. That was really the name of the band, Simon and Garfunkel. So not only is this a Trolls song, but it's also, your parents probably know it, as a Simon and Garfunkel song, and they say that name without laughing. I don't know how. Okay, next. Oh, this song. We say, check this out. In here, we tell everybody who's doing like level four stuff and level five stuff that this thing is in the key of C. So over here, yeah, there we go. Over here, we're like, this is in the key of C because there's no sharps and flats. But the truth is, it's not really the key of C. It's really the key of A minor. And the way that you can tell that is because when you play the song, it's all gonna wanna come back to this A right here. So if you've got a song with no sharps and flats, but at the end of the song, instead of wanting to end on a C, it wants to end on an A, you're probably in the key of A minor. And the last thing in our secret information folder Oh, is that the melody? Yeah, this melody seems crazy until you start playing the chords. And I'm not gonna point this out to the level four people, but the level four people have the chords listed right here. There we go. Have the chords listed 
right there. So th these are the chords that they're going to be playing in their left hand. They're going to be playing this chord right here. And their right hand is going to be playing the same exact notes. Some of them might not even notice that, but the, the notes that you're playing are actually just the outlines of the chords. So as you go through, if you are like in, I don't know, level two or three, or maybe four and you're starting to learn about chords, or if you're in Clawful Academy level uh, two or three or higher, um, then uh, you're already learning about an A minor chord and a G major chord. And so the beginning of it just spells out an A minor chord. The next part of it just spells out a G chord because it's time for the A minor chord and the G chord. And the next part, that part right there, it spells out a C chord because that's the, the section for the C chord. So anyway, the melody really follows the chords really heavily. So if you know some chords, take a look at that melody, retake a look at that melody, and you'll notice, wait a second, those are the same chords I've been playing. All right, well, that's the last secret that I have from our folder. So the last secret is who won the raffle? Maybe it's you. So sadly, the lesson preview has come to an end and it's time to say goodbye to everyone watching the free streams. Of course, paying subscribers at LearnPianoLive.com can continue watching this lesson and several hundred others like it in the archives. So come on over and check us out. And if you like what you saw, at least like and subscribe and then tell your friends to head on over to LearnPianoLive.com to start enjoying this journey with us.